take a few deep breaths as we tune into each other here at this YouTube channel. Wherever we are in the world, in lockdown or in a different level of constraint or freedom, we are here now. So just a few deep breaths. Right now I have bird song behind me in my mountain retreat, but I also have machinery noise. So much changing in my neighborhood because people are unable to travel to leave our country. And so they are doing different things now with their money and with their time. Yesterday, part of me was so sad because I stood in my street and I watched this 400 feet high, over well over 100 meters more, huge Australian gum tree, a white gum, that is always filled with beautiful birds singing and just playing its branches in the breeze. It, Australian gum trees are just so beautiful, as are the redwoods, as are trees in general. The Bodhi tree under which Buddha sat for a long time to tune retrospectively and gain great wisdom over time. And I watched as men arrived with big trucks and buzz saws and they shimmied up this tree so skilled as arborists who'd been employed to decimate and get rid of the tree. A family were coming. They're going to build a beautiful home. A mum, a dad, they're not quite pregnant yet, but they're planning to build a beautiful family home and bring in children. And they've selected my neighborhood to hopefully create many, many joyous memories to raise with love a new family together. So I could feel this matrix also. And then a part of me is like, oh no. So yes, I'm a tree hugger and I just touched the tree and just said, come withdraw your energy. It already knew because trees are what vast consciousness. But I just invited it to come to my land and to my trees and join and strengthen the energy in my land, which is very native. I have kangaroos that come and live there and sleep there a lot when they've been eating the local grasses. And I have kookaburras and parrots and it really is a beautiful mountain retreat. But I couldn't help but feel sad. And just like, oh, how old was that tree? So old, hundreds and hundreds of years old, if not older. And I am, we are in an area of sacred Aboriginal land where I live. The water used to be up the valley and all the indigenous used to come and share and eat together, eat lots of seafood and mussels and all of that I found on my land along with the energy imprint of these beautiful ones laughing and sharing in freedom before white civilization came so much later. I'm talking 40,000 years ago when that was happening. So we are in this time and I mention these stories now because we are in this time of fast incredible change and yes I could have stepped into this save the tree don't decimate the tree or the sorrow energy of this beautiful conscious being being cut down within two three hours it was done 
It had been cut. It had been wood chipped. The whole thing had disappeared from the land and you just had this little raw stump left. So yes, that's like our world. Much has been chopped down. Much has been changed. Much There's much chaos. There's much confusion. There's much sorrow. There's much feeling of isolation. There's much like, ah, what's going on? All of that energy is there. But there is a new pattern coming in. That's what I had to focus on yesterday. This new pattern of a beautiful couple who have bought the land beside me, a vacant block that had been vacant for so long, filled with mother nature, realities of plants and kangaroos and trees and birds, which I loved, really loved. All of that's gone. But something better is coming. Is it better? I don't know. It's just different. And that's the thing now. Here is so important. How we are choosing to view everything in our world is so important. We can rally and protest and say, I hate this lockdown. I don't want this. I don't like this. I don't like that. But it is what it is. And it doesn't mean that we can't protest or do the things you feel if you have an activist heart to do. Because we have to be very discerning, very well informed, very aware. But a lot is coming up for change now. And there are brand new patterns that are coming in that the visionaries among us, I myself have seen and many of you have seen coming in that are now frequency matching. But for the highest visions that we have, the highest fields of potential and possibility to come in for us to really draw in the right energy matrix and pattern, that means we have to tune ourselves well. That means we have to really get out of the fear game and the judgment game of our heads and really into our heart. Forget the mix master <laughs> blending of change. Drop back, relax, even ask, show me. Ask this incredible quantum benevolence for you to see the highest potential that's coming in for humanity because we are entering into a brand new time and a brand new way of being. And the more we can match that, the more we can magnetically draw it to us because this is science. All our work at the Embassy of Peace and all our online courses, we are all based in the higher light science of like attracting like. So old things are going to rise within our world, within our cultures, within all of us, because it's a massive release time. It's a massive let go time. It's a massive reset time, as we know. But we decide the future of our evolution, no one else. And it's up to us to match in individually to the highest pattern of energy we can attract, hold and merge into. But that means we have to walk our truth. That means we have to be living examples. That means we need to be peace in motion, love in action. That means we personally need this to live the sort of lifestyle, including in our mental reality paradigm, that allows our best version selves to rise and our best version selves to dominate. So we can have a higher perception of what's really going on in our world, but more than that, so we can energetically individually and collectively guide this next phase of evolution on earth. We are in mixed master change time. A lot of chaos will continue, fluxes of energy, big changes in our world, individually, collectively. But each one of us now has this beautiful initiation to make 
our wisdom make what we've been studying esoterically, metaphysically, and on other levels, make it an experiential truth for when we can fully embody that wisdom that we know so well in our mind that yes, we can all live in peace. Yes, we can all live in harmony. But the how we can do this, how we can bring out the best in each other, we have the knowledge, the pathway, how to do that within us. We've just got to match with that template we have within. And as it rises, then we change the field collectively because for many, it's just a time of silent stillness, being in the field, embodying these frequencies, embodying the paradigm that we know is there for all of humanity to experience collectively when we are in an open-hearted, open-minded state of readiness. Could we just code that now to say, I am ready to fully embody and live in that state of love and harmony and unity that vibrates within all of creation. To live this in my life now, to see evidence of it in this world around me. I am ready. I step into this now with an open heart. Yes, 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 make this my truth. And if you want a little bit of help in anchoring more deeply into this matrix, then have a look at our website, jasmine.com. Have a look at our online courses and maybe join us to do this a little bit more deeply and more pragmatically while we have this time, more time than we've ever had before, perhaps, to explore different experiential realities. As Gandhi said, may we all be the change we wish to see in the world.